Shan, I have a real challenge for you today. Okay. That could have serious, dire consequences. Oh. And that is, uh, here is a fruit drink, and it needs a teaspoon of sugar. Okay. And then you're going to have to drink it. Uh -huh. But I'm not going to tell you whether sugar is an A or B, and you're going to have to determine okay. which is which and put a whole teaspoon in there. Now, uh, in order to do that, uh, you're going to have to assume that salt and sugar have certain properties. Mm -hmm. How would you describe sugar? What is the property of sugar? Um, it's sweet. Sweet, right. And the property of salt? It's salty. Salty, right. Those, noted by the way, are properties that you can tell by tasting. Mm -hmm. But you can't taste in this case because we're going to assume that salt is a deadly poison. Okay. <laughs> so you can't taste it. That's how you'd identify them around the house if there were mm -hmm. a question, right? Yeah. So you have to find some other properties of these various materials mm -hmm. in order to identify them. First of all, take a close look at them. Can you tell by just looking? Well, by just looking at it, I would say that A is salt and that B is sugar. B is sugar. Why? Just because you've seen salt and sugar yeah. before and you think? Well, scientists did the same, do the same thing, but they put it under the microscope mm -hmm. and look at it very carefully, right. especially the crystal structure. So okay. come over here. I have a projector set up. There is the screen up there. And notice it says A and B. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's the two materials. This, this looks like salt. It's, it's bigger than yeah. over here. Um, and the shape? Yeah. Um, these look like they're cubes, mm -hmm. and some of them are rounder shapes, mm -hmm. and these ones are all different kinds of shapes. Right. They're not really anything particular. Okay, now let's look at this same sort of thing that, uh, that scientists did over here in this chart. Scientists okay. looked at the crystal structure of these two materials when they knew they were looking at salt. Mm -hmm. They said, okay, oh, here's some salt. They looked at it, see what it says, crystal cubic. And you found those in A were cubic, right? Yeah. Actually, they look squares. Yeah, they do. Because when you look at the top of a cube, it's a square. And sugar, monoclinic, that's a different kind of crystal structure. The important thing for household sugar, at least, is that they grind it up. Right. And that's okay. what it looked like? Yeah. Okay. So now we have to look at some other properties and see if you agree with what scientists found. Okay. You know what solubility is? Yeah, that's how much will mix in to us, right. to and, water. And especially in water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Notice salt. 39 grams, and in sugar, 500 grams. Boy, that's a big difference. That's quite a, quite a big difference. So we should yeah. be able to use those two differences. Here are two spoons, okay. two glasses of water. Bring over A and B. And what's first? A. a. Okay. Put in maybe two heaping teaspoons. And I'll put two heaping teaspoons in over here, B. Okay. Stir it around? Let me trade. I know which is okay. which, so I'd rather have you stir that one. Because that's the one you think is what? You think that's sugar, right? B? Yeah. Yes, I think B is sugar. Okay, well, we should be able to tell, I think, relatively quickly. Mine is M Mine is starting cloudy. to dissolve. It's going clearer. Right. Does that sort of bear out what you, what you uh, found in the chart? Yeah, Solubility? it does. Boy, it's almost clear now. Yeah. And as you know, you can dissolve more and more until it finally gets syrupy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you still think B is uh, sugar? Yes, I do. And here's one final test that we will make while scientists would run all kinds of other tests. Okay. Notice the last one. Oh, the melting point. Mm-hmm. In Salt Celsius. In Celsius degrees. Salt doesn't melt till 801 degrees. Mm -hmm. Boy, is that ever hot. Right. And sugar, it starts to decompose at 160 degrees, a lot less. Yeah. And, and it chars, chars and, and that's it's down the below. That's odor of caramel. Oh, I ran I see. out. Of, I ran okay. out of room. You know what that smells like. Mm -hmm, okay. Yeah. Well, let's try that. Light the okay. candle. Okay. Here you are. See, there's a little piece of aluminum foil on mm -hmm. a clothespin. Okay. You can put some of the stuff on there and hold it in the candle flame. Okay, the first this is, is this A. Is a. Right? That's probably enough. Hmm, nothing seems to be happening. Well, the candle flame is probably not 800 degrees, it's no. only a couple of hundred degrees, yeah. yeah. So that you suspect that that's uh, salt? Yeah, I do. Okay, the final test. Okay. Can 
Okay, here's some sugar, I think. You think? Yeah. If it's sugar, what should happen? It's it should decompose. decomposes at 160. Oh. Is it decomposing? Yeah, it is. Chars? Uh -huh. Is it charring? Turning yeah, black? Yeah, it is. In some places. And? I can smell some caramel, too. Yeah, okay. So you're definitely sure that sugar is B. Yes, I am. Okay. I will. You have to make a choice. You're sure? I'm sure. It's B. Okay. Keep so put teaspoon. some in the drink. Okay. And you have used the, the physical properties of materials in order to identify them in the same way that an analytical chemist does. Yeah. But you're going to do something which he would probably never do, or she, and that is test it by drinking it. But you are confident? I'm ready. Okay. It was sugar that I put in. Great. Congratulations. Thanks.